Hi, welcome to another episode of Everything's Rosy. And um, it's gonna be probably another weird video that I'm not sure why you're watching, but here we are. And right now I've got some Thai food after a long day at the store and I'm gonna freaking eat that and then I'm going to, you know, do some really exciting stuff. So stay tuned. And as I'm eating, I'm gonna eat with you. And as I do that, I want you to take a look at some of the new stuff at the store. It's grade A stuff, promise. Cashew chicken, some kind of roll with peanut sauce, and then this is rice. So yeah, come, let's just, we're just gonna eat, me and you. It's a big fly, dude. Um, we're just gonna eat together, and yeah, so take a look at the new stuff at the store. enjoy taking a look at those new clothes um, and speaking of my store I wanted to give you a little update on it so I've had that store since um, November of 2019 so that's when it opened um, the first obviously the first year of business um, I went through a divorce and COVID happened and I thought that um, by the end of this past year, it would be better, but it really hasn't gotten any better at my store, and it's been pretty, pretty difficult. I know a lot of y'all follow me and support me because you knew who my ex-husband was and all that kind of stuff, but the the thing is, is that I feel like I have all of these followers that don't actually really support me. They're just there to see what happens to me, I guess. Because I, I don't know, I just, I don't see the correlation between having the platform I have and not being able to succeed online even. I can understand why the traffic in downtown Denton isn't where it needs to be because of COVID restrictions and all that kind of stuff. And people just not wanting to travel, I guess. But most of my followers are men, totally get that. Too, because that's what followed my ex. So, example number one: if I post a picture on Instagram, like it, I have to show show myself in an over sexualized way to get any of my followers to like the picture. If I post a picture of me like completely clothed, less than 2,000 likes. But if I post a picture of my stomach showing or my chest showing, over 6,000 likes. If I post a picture in a bikini, 12,000 likes. It's like, if I don't show my followers on Instagram my body, then I don't mean anything. So it's pretty annoying, and I'm starting to kind of hate it. And I know that I put myself out there in that way, but like, come on guys. I do not wanna be that chick. I'm not, I'm not that girl. So um, my Instagram is going to change for sure. I'm not going to be posting for likes. I'm going to be posting for me and what I think, what I want to attract, which are freaking respectable people and um, women. Honestly, I'd rather have a girl, <laughs> girls following me much more than a bunch of guys that think they can DM me and ask me out on dates when I don't know them at all. So anyways, that was my rant. And let's uh, get on with the day because I'm going to go do some man duties outside so let's go first things first yes those are all my christmas decorations that i put up but um i can't take that tree down by myself i got the top part off but i'm just not strong enough to get it down i accepted it and i've asked for help so you know whatever all right now on to this this right here still have pumpkins at my house 
they're still like just kicking too. So we're, um, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and destroy them. You ready, Tex? Let's go. All right, we've got the pumpkins out here. So let's smash them. I almost forgot that I needed a flannel to do such things with an ax. I got it. I also need to get my eyewear, so hold on for that one. So I think we're just gonna use this little one because obviously that is a pumpkin. It shouldn't be too hard to uh, chop up. I'm no expert. You ready for this, Musa? You ready? I don't think this is working out as well as I thought it would. <laughs> this is like running away. For the purposes of not cleaning that up. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it over into my woods. And the other one, just like pop it over the fence. It's in plan, but we'll still chop some wood. That's actually the same spot I threw them last year. So that's cool. A little anniversary of sorts. All right, let's see if I can chop some more wood. Holy crap, y'all, I left y'all outside. I started getting cold, my toes were freezing, and that was about it. All the other pieces of wood are so like, weirdly shaped and I'd have to saw them, and my saw, I think I need to like, I think the blades need to be sharpened or something's going on. So that was being annoying, but I chopped enough today. Time for dinner? Of course it is. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go and I'll see you tomorrow because I'm gonna take you along on girls' night. Girls' night, yes, I'm taking you with me. It's gonna be really weird to film in front of people, but I'm weird, I guess. So, till then, love you. All right, good morning. Sorry if I look gross. This is last night's makeup. I have like some good news. I got the Christmas, I, I can get it down. I got it down by myself. Like two days ago, I was struggling to get this thing to come apart. Like it was very defeating. I was like, how did I, how did I take this apart last time? Like, why can't I do it now? Maybe I was just tired. It was late night. Maybe that's what it was. So let's get on with it. Now it is lunchtime, and I'm gonna make breakfast because I didn't eat any breakfast, so that's what I'm doing. And this is just bacon with uh, brown sugar on it. In the oven, 425 for like 18, 20 minutes until like it's super crispy. Okay, guys, so like I promised, we are. You're coming with me to the girls' night out, or mommy's night out, really. And um, we just got in the Uber. We 
We've got Austin over here just taking us to D Town. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go to what was our first stop? Sugar Factory. First. Let's go. How are you? <laughs> My name is Sarah. Hello. Right now you're probably wondering why there's like a big gap in um, footage. It's because I left my phone in the Uber driver's car and we had to drive all the way to Forney, Texas to get my phone from our Uber driver's house. <laughs> So that was fun, and we rescued an animal. So, I mean, Sunday is just, you know, playing out to be a good day. It's Jesus' day, so. Right now, updates to follow. I made it back home, Tex. Everything's fine, it's fine. Well guys, I hope that um, whatever footage gets gets added from that night, uh, not much of it. Got a little bit too wild there for a little bit, and um, but I'm home. And Avery's about to get dropped off. We're just gonna have a nice Sunday. It's really pretty outside, so um, I might we might go play outside or something. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for you know being along on my journey, um, etc. Make sure to go to my website, go to my store if you live in Texas. I, I love it when y'all come to see me. It's totally not weird. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. You can come see me. I won't I won't think you're weird. But if you're weird then then you're just weird. I don't know. But anyways, let's uh let's wrap this up because I obviously my brain's not working anymore. So Oh my gosh, you guys, um, I'm literally editing this video that you're watching right now and I still did not say like my little outro thing. So here it goes, here it is. At the end of the day, everything's rosy, everything's gonna be just fine and I love you guys, bye.